Blesse mon cœur d'une langueur monotone. Je répète. Blesse mon cœur d'une langueur monotone. Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 3.07 a.m. Central Time on Monday, June 22nd, 2015. So I've got you over here on a video by Montagraph where he's talking about several different things, one of which is including the flat earth, which uh, I've touched on. And of course, guys, we're not saying there is a flat earth. We are the people who are saying there is not a flat earth. And uh, there are people online who are trying to push that right now. And we're trying to fight that off as much as we can, politely, respectfully, but getting into it with people online over that um, old science that is now being rehashed. <laughs> okay, but Monty brings up something in here that's really interesting. He starts talking about the Apollo missions and why he doesn't think there's a Mars rover or any other type of spacecraft out there, uh, at least beyond low Earth orbit, because of the Van Allen radiation belts. Now get this. this the reason I'm making this video is if you come over, of course, you can find a lot of information on it. Here's the wiki on it. I mean, you know, of course, Wikipedia. But I want to take you down to the bottom of the Wikipedia article, and you can look this up to verify this isn't added by anybody recently, and this is legit. Um, let me just go ahead and read this to you, and you're going to be shocked when I read this to you. Talk of a proposed removal of the Van Allen radiation belts. Now, they just announced that they discovered a new radiation belt that formed, and that's like a fourth radiation belt, and that's further up here at the top of the article. But listen to this. High voltage orbiting long tether, high volt, is a concept proposed by Russian physicist V.V. Danilov and further refined by Robert P. Hoyt and Robert L. Forward for draining and removing the radiation fields of the Van Allen radiation belts that surround Earth. A proposed configuration consists of a system of five 100 kilometer long conducting tethers deployed from satellites and charged to a large voltage. This would cause charged particles that encounter the tethers to have their pitch angles changed, thus over time dissolving the inner belts. Hoyt and Forward's company, Tethers Unlimited, performed a preliminary analysis simulation and produced a chart depicting a theoretical radiation flux reduction to less than 1% of the current levels within two months for the inner belts that threaten low Earth orbiting objects. Now guys, I don't need to tell you, if you've been on the internet, you've seen this video. Okay, now what video am I talking about? The video that's on the screen here right now is famous NASA video from the space shuttle showing the deploying of a tether. And as you can see on the screen here, the tether supposedly, quote unquote, broke off and floated out into space as the space shuttle was flying away. Now this is some of the most incredible footage of all time because when the tether broke, First of all, it's lighting up, glowing on infrared. Glowing on infrared. Now, that's just amazing, right? It's glowing. And then all these objects swarm around the tether from miles away as they fly away for 100 miles in the opposite direction. They're looking back upon this thing, and you can see all these objects. Now, this is some of the best quote-unquote UFO footage of all time. And this is from NASA. This is from the space shuttle. Nobody's edited this. Nobody's put this stuff in. It's some of the most debated footage of all time. They're trying to say those are ice crystals. Okay? So, well, what do we have here? We have Tethers Unlimited, a company formed by the guys who came up with the idea to do it, and then NASA did it. Well, if that tether is floating around up in the atmosphere broken off they haven't gone and retrieved it no doubt about it they have not retrieved it meaning it's still up there meaning they drained off the van allen belt radiation electron volt wise drain it off now where does it go when they change the pitch angle where do the flying electrons where do they go they go to ground 
they go to the Earth. They're not going off out into space. There is no escaping the magnetic fields of the Earth from there. They're sending them to ground by intersecting that energy with a tether. It's like sticking a prong into a live wire. You're going to redirect that current somewhere. And in this case, the tether will probably take it down to a lower level where it's then taken into Earth and dispersed into the core of the Earth. They did the experiment already. That's what the tether experiment is. And I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. We finally have an explanation for what the tether experiment is. And it's uh, nothing big, you know, just to drain the frickin' Van Allen radiation belts so they can put more spacecraft up. Look, they want to remove the Van Allen radiation belts. This might be why a new one formed further up. You remove a layer from below and another one appears above. Reshuffling the deck. Could this be what's caused all of our problems recently? Hmm? Do you think? Do you think draining the Van Allen radiation belts might have a climate change problem? <laughs> Do you? They already did the experiment, guys. They already did it. It's already up there. It broke off. They didn't go back and collect it. It's still up there right now. Still draining off radiation. Flying off willy-nilly, wherever. Draining radiation wherever it goes. Good job, guys. Good job, NASA. Good job, U.S. government. Now you want to say there's something called climate change, huh? As you drain the frickin' radiation belts. And there's no doubt about it. Here's the footage of it. Here, what do they say? Here, let's listen to their words. What, what, here, listen, listen. The tether has broken at the, uh, at the boom. The tether has broken and it's going away from us. Get it on the, get it on the TV, Claude. Please get it on the TV. The tether has broken. Copy. <laughs> you heard it. It broke off. Broke off. Lost the tether. Uh-oh. There it goes. Idiots. Idiots. And Hoyt and Forward and Danilov, you guys are freaking megalomaniac freaking mad scientists. And take it from me, I'm an inventor on my own. Anybody who would think to actually drain off the freaking Van Allen belts is just mad. Mad. Shouldn't be listened to. Shouldn't be taken seriously. Definitely shouldn't be tried. And NASA, the fact that you did it, the fact that you did it, NASA, shame. Shame. Halls of history shame. Because look what it did. <laughs> it broke off. You freaking idiots. Unless you wanted it to break off. In which case you then deposited the tether for all time to float up there. I mean, which is it? Either you drained it intentionally or you're draining it still unintentionally. Either way, well... You're ca you could be causing, theoretically, a long-term problem for planet Earth by your experiment. Which, we can prove now, was done by you. And it took a little revelation from a guy online to reveal one of the biggest government screw-ups of all time. Good job, guys. And good job, Monty. I wouldn't have looked into it if you wouldn't have even brought it up, right? Just just to stumble. I just stumbled across it, you know. <laughs> That's how it goes, guys. Just stumble across this stuff, and you find out, you catch them. I don't know what to say, you know. Maybe somebody needs to start looking into what would happen if we lost one of the radiation shieldings from the sun. What would happen? Do you think Hoyt and Forward really understand what would happen? I mean, come on. Look at what we figured out in the past five years. Do you think Danilov, Hoyt, and Forward are on the forefront of online research figuring out what's happening with the sun and everything else? <laughs> Do you? Right? Add in CERN. Add in the human-made frequency. I mean, come on. What, I mean, How much more does Danilov, Hoyt, and Forward know than we do? Not much. I, I would dare say they probably maybe are specialists in their field, but when it comes to actually knowing overall geophysics-wise, 
the effects of what they're proposing? No way. No way. Do you also think they're geologists? No way. Volcanologists too? No way. No way the guys for the high volt long tether are geologists, volcanologists, seismologists. No. This is bad news, guys. This is bad news. And I'm glad that we found it now because now you can start to lay blame where blame is due for climate change because we can prove that the experiment was done and that a radiation belt that protects us from the sun was removed or is being removed still because the tether's still up there. We need to retrieve the tether, bring it down now, send a new space shuttle up immediately. We need to redeploy the space shuttle to go back up and pull that sucker down. If we can't do it, somebody else has to. The planet's fate depends on it. Get this video out, make it viral, get it to the top, let everybody know, guys. No joke. Seriously, no joke. And Tether's Unlimited, you better not be involved with that broken Tether that's floating around up there now, now that we know 10 years, 15 years later, that you guys are doing that, did that, are part of that. Your theory is involved. Shame. Shame. All the climate change, all the earthquakes, all the volcanic eruptions happening right after solar flares that didn't happen before now we know why now we know why there's a whole layer missing you took a whole layer of protection away from us so you could put satellites up that's genius good one guys can i give you a thumbs up on that no actually you can see it on the screen here now you actually get the big thumbs down oh boy bad news bad news